In this video, I'm going to show you how I made a game using ChatGPT. And so to start, um, I had remembered a game that I had played when I was much younger, and I wrote computer game, drive car into a red truck. And it gave me some ideas. Fun game, probably early 90s. It's a 2D game. It's a PC game. Uh, lower graphics and third person than test drive, right? So it said, is it test drive? And I said, no. And then I saw it, Spy Hunter. That's the game. So I wrote Spy Hunter. And it explains a little bit about the game. And I said, can you build a remake? And you could see Chad GPT has sort of taken on my persona. And it's like, heck yes. Here's a tiny browser playable Spy Hunter style remake you can run locally. And it tells me what to do. I'm not a coder. I'm not a developer. I'm not a game developer. And honestly, I don't really know a whole lot about HTML. Um, so, but it says save it as this name, and then you can open it in any modern browser. And so I gave it a shot. So I copied the code, and I didn't really know what to do. And so, I mean, you can see it's quite a bit of code. And so I said, how do I actually save and use this? So it gave me, you know, step by step instructions. So you copy the entire code. You open a notepad in Windows or text edit in Mac. I'm using Mac. Set the format to make plain text. Paste the code. Save it as this name. Make sure you save it as HTML and not text. And then you double click and it opens. So rather than go through many versions of this, um, but you can see I said it's certainly a start, but really not very good. Refine this and make it 10 times better. And I refined, and I refined, and I refined, and you could see lots of versions of code. Um, and I just kept refining and kept refining, and I got a bunch of different versions. And so here is a later version. Um, this is maybe version five. And you can see it has some, you know, it's, it's pretty decent, actually, right? So it says Spy Hunter. Um, it gives the version. You have a start, pause, and restart. It has the controls and what buttons they are. And um, I had paused it. So I'm going to do restart here. And you can see I can move. I'm using my, my arrow keys here. I have a gun. It has sound. Right, you could hear that little beeping. Um, there's the red truck. But in, in this game, if I go into it, I just crash. So I, it doesn't actually have the capability of going in. You can see on the bottom my armor. When I hit something, my armor goes down. Um, you have a couple of different weapons, depending on what you're using. So that's the, uh, the smoke. And you can see I, I died. So it gave me another life. You can also see how much ammo you have on the bottom, right? So when I shoot, it shoots two bullets. And you can see my ammo goes down by two. And so this is one version I did. I also then decided I'm going to try a different approach. And if we open this, I asked ChatGPT to help me write the actual prompt up front. Um, I like to use voice for longer prompts sometimes, and if I'm just thinking it through. So I did this on my phone, and I wrote, I'm not a game designer or a developer. I don't know anything about coding. I want to make a remake or an almost identical copy of the game. Um, can you give me a prompt that'll be clear, descriptive, covering all aspects, um, and so on. And so you could see it thought for 10 seconds here, and it gave me this like super prompt. And so it built out all this code. And I said, you know, it asked me some questions also, like, do I want it this style or do I want it this style, right? So do I want it classic? And I said, make it as close to the classic as possible. Again, give me this code, right? And this is significantly more code than the previous version. And um, and so I then said, OK, I downloaded it. I knew what to do. And I said, I need a key for the controls. <clears throat> and I need a restart and pause, because the first version didn't have it. So it gave me this key here. Really, I wanted it in the game. And then it gave me a patch. Um, so I took that. And this is the next version. And so. This one, unfortunately, if I hit restart, it doesn't work. So I'm just going to refresh. And you can see here, it gives me this pop-up up front. So I can set the difficulty. I'll set it to easy. 
Um, it also has mobile controls, which is kind of cool. It also has settings. And you can see the entire key is here. I don't like this quite as much because I can't see it while I'm playing, but it's fine. And I'm going to hit start. You can see this one's moving much faster. Um, I can't move my my actual uh, person or my, my car as quickly in this version. And I and that's it. I'm done. Right. So I'll refresh again and we can look at some of these. So like K is oil. We'll see if that works. Yeah, you could see this little oil slick and you can see how the car, that red car went into it and it slid. Uh, J is the is the gun. These seem to be much harder. And that's it. So uh, just something I'm working on. I figured I would share and um, just let you know that this is something that can be done even if you don't know how to code. If there's a game that you uh, played when you were younger, uh, certainly the older games, I, you know, this will be hard to do for a modern game, but something from the 80s, I'm sure you could probably do this. Uh, something like Snake would probably be pretty straightforward. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed.